how to upload images on Midjourney. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we'll be taking a quick look at how you can upload images on Midjourney. So let's get into it. Now Midjourney is a online AI platform that allows you to create a creative image from a text prompt and you can basically create anything you want simply by adding a text prompt. Now the best part about using Midjourney is that you can not only just create images out of text but you can also upload your own images and then customize them however you want. So Let's say I have an image and I want it to be drawn in a manga style, I can ask Midjourney to do that and it will do that for me simply via a text prompt. So there is a simple way to do this. Now to get started, I recommend creating your own Midjourney server. So it's very simple to do that. All you have to do is log on to your Midjourney account. Once you have logged on to your Midjourney account, you want to click on the Midjourney bot over here. You want to click on add to server. And then you can just select any of your own personal servers. You can create a new empty server and add the bot there. I have already done this over here. So this is my own server where I've added Midjourney bot. And I've already done this before, but to show you guys once more, let's go on ahead and upload a image. So to upload a image, I like to do it in my own server. The reason for this is because if you do it on mid journeys, you know, newbie servers, all the other people that are working there can see your images, but otherwise only the AI generated image is available. And I will be discussing privacy later on, but uh, I like to do it on my own server. And once I have mid journey on my server, all you have to do is click on the bottom left over here, click on upload a file and you're going to upload whatever image you want. So let's say I want to take this image and edit it. So I will just upload it like normal. You're not going to enter any text prompt or anything. You just want to upload it onto your Discord chat. Once you upload it here, you can click on the image and click on open in browser. Once you have it opened up in your browser, you want to go back to your Discord or your mid journey. Then you're going to type in slash and now you can just do slash imagine and then enter your prompt. Now to have this image edited, I will open up the new tab that I uploaded it in. Then I will just copy this URL link from the top. Just once you have copied your URL link from the top, you want to go back into Discord and you just want to click on paste over here. Once you click on paste, you can just enter whatever you want to do with the image. So let's say I want to convert this into a manga sketch style or a anime sketch style. So I will just add drawn as anime and then mid journey will start the process of converting my image into a anime style drawing. And you can do this with any kind of prompt. Even if you have a long complicated prompt, you can easily do this. Now, one thing to keep in mind is a lot of people don't realize, but whatever you generate via mid journey is available to the public as well as your prompt. So when you're uploading your own images from here, it, the image is not available to the public, but the image that is gets generated, that is available to the public. So uh, you guys can see our images uh, have been generated. So it looks very nice. It looks uh, pretty cute and you can choose whichever uh, one you want to upscale. So if you like a particular one, you can choose that and make it a uh, larger. Or if you want to create more variations of that, you can just click on this and this will give you a new AI generated image and certain variations of a specific one that you prefer out of these drawings. For that, you can click on the variation one, variation two, variation three, variation four, and it will give you four different new variations of that particularly generated image. So now if we go on ahead and take a look at uh, our little images, you need to know that your images are public. So, so Midjourney does have a private version. Uh, for that, you just click on slash and then you can click on uh, stealth. So once you type that in, you can turn on stealth mode, but this is only available on the pro plan of Midjourney, which starts at $60 and you can save 20% if you go with the yearly billing plan. Now in this, you have stealth image generation. So this allows your prompt and the generated image from your prompt to remain private. However, it's going to be available like this. So you guys can see on Midjourney, if I go into the explore page, you can see a bunch of different AI generated images and the prompts for these are available and the prompts as well as, you know, the entire print and all the entire image is available 
but you can easily uh, get the pro version and turn on stealth mode and if you create your own server the generated image is still going to be available on mid journey however the image you upload of yourself or of you know whatever it might be won't be available so that is one thing to keep in mind whenever you are uploading images on mid journey plus if you want a few more tips and tricks then you can go into chat gpt so uh, if you want to uh, take an image let's say i have this image and I want to add a different background to it, I can ask ChatGPT to provide me with a detailed description of a floral background. So can you provide me with a description of a floral background like this? And if this seems like a little too broad, if you want to make this a little more specific, for that you can ask it to provide you with a description of a picture of a garden or a picture of a floral background. So, so can you provide me a description of a picture of a rose garden with pink and red roses? Now, once it provides you with a description of that, I'm just going to copy the first two sections and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into discord do slash imagine and then I'm going to copy the URL of our image so I'm just going to copy this add it in my prompt with so now I'm going to go into chat GPT copy this and I'm just going to click on paste and match style and I'm with a rose garden like this now once i have entered this prompt it will begin working on it obviously if the prompt is larger it might take slightly longer for the image to be generated so it might take a few more minutes for a image that is more detailed to be generated but in this way you can upload your own images to mid journey and create whatever you want so you can create any kind of image any kind of you can customize any pre-existing image however you like this can be amazing to make your images more professional and to make them more interesting interesting to look at so you guys can see I already like my generated image although it's not completed it's taking a little bit of time and just like that our image has been completed so you guys can see this looks fantastic I really like this and I can even specify the art style I want it in so you can get that specific art style if you wanted hyper realistic if you wanted futuristic anime style whatever you want so so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to like this video and subscribe to the youtube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that i have taught you within this video and make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well and to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites so I hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if I missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and I will catch you guys in the next video.